talk about working with Marouche Kapowski and his directing style. Oh, God. Where do I begin? <laughs> <laughs> It was an absolute pleasure to work with Marouche. There is a light that shines in his eye when he's in the process of working on a film. <laughs> and there's nothing to me better than working with people who truly enjoy what they're doing. Well, Mar Marouche had such a passion for the story himself, and we could feel that passion. It was internal from him and it just, you know, it's like osmosis. He doesn't take a lot of words to tell you what he wants. It either is or isn't. And um, it's either what he wants or it isn't what he wants. But it is generous in that he leaves you the space to give him what he wants. It's wonderful. Not only does he know what he wants and will stand there and defend it, but he's so encouraging and he makes you feel good about yourself. He makes you feel like, like you're a talent and like you can still do it. And that means more than you'll ever know. You know, a lot of times editors, they're basically button pushers for the most part, but Mark really allows um, you know, the people around him to, to put in their input. And so you feel like in a way that the film is you know, has a little bit of your own thumbprint on it. He was, he was wonderful throughout the process, and he was uh, really supportive of, you know, our ideas and listened to things that we had said, and uh, while making sure that it was still his own. Ah, uh, it was great working with Marouche. Um, he's very welcoming of um, your ideas and your instincts, but at the same time, you know, he knows what direction he wants to take it and he's very clear about giving the direction. So I found it a very comfortable atmosphere to work in. So it was a great experience. I think that love of the craft and that love of creation, creativity, uh, comes through in the work. And for me, it makes the whole process an absolute pleasure. With the generosity, comes the feeling that one can, that one has freedom, one has freedom to work. In some ways, perhaps even through a collaborative process, uh, and that it is not a dictatorial process. Uh, and and that, that, I think, that I think is the true gift. Marouche, he's very professional and very passionate, and he was really supportive. Um, and, and he gave us a lot of room to explore the characters and he brought a lot of life and energy to the set, and he's just given us a beautifully written, very sad, powerful, yet really inspirational story. Esther's diary, I believe, is a very important perspective on the Holocaust because it is unique in that it tells the story from the point of view of women involved and the generations of women involved and impacted by the event. For everyone, for every viewer, to look at the humanistic side of this film and to truly understand what can be set in motion for generations, the dis not just the familial dysfunctionality, but the global dysfunctionality in multiple families over multiple generations by one horrendous act exhibiting man's inhumanity to man. And it's important to be able to do a film like this to show that these sorts of things lasting forever, things that, that, that last forever in people's lives, this has got to stop, that's all. This film makes me want to be a better mom. Um, just hold them and, and tell them I love them more and uh, listen to them and talk to them and, and teach them acceptance and respect for other people and tolerance and, and uh, to do that to themselves as well, you know? Um, I always tell them how dull this world would be, how boring it would be if we were all the same and that they need to uh, respect each other's differences. I personally believe that we create the world in which we live through the stories we choose to tell. And you can choose to tell stories 
that are nihilistic and the end of the world, and that's the way you see the world. Well, that is the world in which you're going to live. But if you tell stories that explore the nature of being human and discover in that compassion, forgiveness, understanding, that is the kind of person you are. That is the kind of world you will live in and you will influence the other people around you to develop that point of view as well. So it was wonderful to have a part, even a small part, in such a wonderful story. This film should remind the people about our lives, how crucial is our life, how many things can change and it's not even we are not in charge of the life, of situation which is happening. Sometimes things happen because things happen. And this movie are telling people the history. But also, when we see terrible things happening to people, we can change and we can approach and we can help. I think watching the Esther Diary, we audience should realize we can make difference. And the difference comes from the individual people.